there's like nothing. There's nothing here, you guys. It's just a lot of really small run down towns in the middle of nowhere. Look at this chair they have in the room here. Like it is all torn up and I'm like, why is that in here? <laughs> That's nasty. There is mold. So we, day one in uh, getting to Flagstaff uh, was good. We stayed at the Days Inn or something like that. Um, it was less expensive than I thought. I was preparing for it to be like 300 bucks a night, which seemed to be like the average right now. But I think because we are doing this in between um, like Thanksgiving's over and Christmas is, you know, three weeks away. We're right in between. So maybe not a lot of people are traveling. So maybe we, maybe that's why we got a better rate. But, um, anyway, the hotel is clean. It's really nice. Um, I think we only paid like $74. Beds are comfy. The he it is cold outside. So the heater was turning on. I usually need to bring a white noise machine with me, but I don't have one anymore. I need to get a new one. And so I'm used to having some kind of like constant air sound. Okay, so we are in New Mexico and uh, stopping off at this gas station that's also a Dairy Queen and a, like a some kind of, you know, little gas station store. Um, it's funny because it's literally in the middle of nowhere, you guys. Like, I can see why my friends had who had just did this drive before me, they said, like, try and time it so that you're not really going to have to stay in New Mexico like overnight because on the 40 there's like nothing there's nothing here you guys it's just a lot of really small run down towns in the middle of nowhere so there's like so long where you see nothing and no one and then like just land empty land and and um <clears throat> rock formations which are pretty but there's like nothing and then finally you see a town and it's like oh there's like nothing there not even at like a gas station um so I can I can see why I'm really so glad that we had stopped off at Flagstaff slept there and then started driving so we could drive just three straight through to our next checkpoint is Amarillo Texas so yeah just a good pointer here never have less than half a tank and once you have half a tank find the nearest gas station and fill up and go to the bathroom <laughs> because you never know when you're gonna find the next gas station in the next bathroom like 
there were some times where I'm like, okay, I'll wait. I don't have to go like that much right now, but then we won't see anything for almost an hour. So just keep that in mind um, when you're doing this trip. I'm waiting for my brother to come out um, of the gas station right now. He's eating, uh, gonna eat some Dairy Queen. It's just like, um, sorry, that was my thumb. <laughs> when I am traveling, I try and eat lots of snacky foods because I just, my tummy when I travel is, can sometimes, you know, be on the more sensitive side. So I, this morning I had, so those little kids apple sauces that are in the little pouches like these, if you, um, I used to have that a lot when I was overcoming anxiety because I would get dry mouth a lot and it would be hard for me to eat regular food because it would get stuck in my mouth. Um, so I would eat a lot of those and it was a good way to get nutrients um, and be easier for me to eat. So I had two of those this morning. I had half a Nutri-Grain bar. I had a couple cookies <laughs> and now I'm trying to eat this um, like natural beef jerky thing. Six grams of protein. So yeah, I drank a lot of water so I had to make more stops today. Yesterday I was trying not to drink that much water so we wouldn't have to stop. And I'm glad I did because even on that leg of the journey there was hardly any stops for bathrooms anywhere. But then once I got to the hotel I felt so dehydrated because we're up like 6,000 feet in elevation and I could I could totally feel it last night in the hotel room just I was so dehydrated and like feeling really off so I'm trying to catch up today and drink water so I had like three bottles of water already and it's only 10 o'clock in the morning um so yeah I'm just waiting for my brother to get out of Dairy Queen so that we can Keep heading out and get to our destination in Amarillo, Texas. I wanted to, I researched a hotel that has like valet parking in a structure because last night I did not sleep very well because I was so worried about my car getting broken into in the parking lot because as you can see, like my car is full of stuff. It's full of stuff. I have a blanket over the top, but I almost wonder if that just makes people be like, oh, I want to see what's in there, you know? But anyway, so, so far so good. I'm just trying to, my head feels a little weird, I think, because I hardly slept last night. I'm just trying to nap in the car so my brother's driving. I have my pillow right here, I'm trying to catch up on my sleep so I feel more, um, I can totally tell when I don't have my usual <laughs> eight hours of sleep. I kept waking up last night the heater kept going on. So it'd be like super quiet and then the heater would go on and wake me up multiple times. It is a lot colder here. We are making progress. We are inching our way along. We should be in Tennessee by Wednesday. Today is Monday morning. So I think it's like a 10 hour journey today. And I can't remember when we left that hotel. I want to say it was around um, maybe like eight. We'll get to the next hotel kind of around dinner time I think but it'll be good Okay, so we were going to go to this hotel that was in the middle of downtown Amarillo, but we're like, it was really expensive and the area was kind of 
sketch a little bit. So we're like, mm-mm. So we ended up going kind of off downtown into like the, a little bit of the burbs, uh, country inn and suites. And the hotel is so cute. The lobby was really cute. It's all Christmified. And okay, so the hotel room we were at at the Days Inn in Flagstaff was room 108 and we're room 107, which is in the Comfort Inn and Suites. But yeah, it's a really cute room. Same, really similar layout. That's cute bathroom. Really clean. And then this is our room here. And then since we since we were in the car for 10 hours, I am going to get uh, food delivered to our room because I'm not getting back in the car. <laughs> Good morning. It's the morning and it's an Amarillo. I feel like I need to play that song. <laughs> I got like nine hours of sleep last night. It felt so good. In fact, you can see I just woke up, like eyes are doing a little something. But I realized I didn't pack another shirt because I just forgot under all the chaos and all of my other clothes are vacuum sealed and I can't undo the seal or to blow up, like the bag will blow up and I don't have the vacuum thing to vacuum it back again. So we're gonna have to go to some kind of gift shop or something so I can get a shirt. <laughs> but yeah, uh, yesterday I had almost no sleep. So I had this like headache behind my eye and felt off like all day yesterday. So I woke up this morning and I felt so much better. I'm like, I feel so good. I did take a little bit of Pepto-Bismol but yeah, today's a new day. We're going to um, try and hit Oklahoma and then Little Rock, Arkansas will be our next stopping point and we'll get probably get a hotel there. Hotel was really good. When we first got here, we could hear the people next to us talking. We're like, oh wow, these walls are really thin. Most of the people that are here are like older, so it was fairly quiet. And But the AC, these things right here, next to the window so loud so loud and that's what happened at our last room last night uh night before last it kept waking me up so this time we just turned it off because it's winter right now so we don't need the air conditioning on and we don't need the heater on it's not cold enough for that and honestly i'd rather be cold than be waking woken up every like 10 minutes <laughs> so we turned that off and I slept so good. And we woke up around um, 8.30 this morning and we went to bed at nine o'clock at night and woke up at 8.30. <laughs> so we are rested. Victor is gonna get the breakfast cause they serve breakfast here. So he's gonna get me a little cereal or something and we're gonna be on our way. Hey y'all. Okay. So we are in Little Rock, Arkansas right now. And I did not plan. I should have planned for what hotel we were going to stay at tonight. I didn't. We just found one close by to where we were at when we first got here. I wish I did more research or I wish I would have stayed in the same hotel that I did in Amarillo because we really liked it and it was really affordable and really clean and everything and well kept. Um, but we didn't. Instead, we went to a Best Western and 
at first glance it's okay but the more I look at it the more I'm like this was the most expensive hotel we've stayed at so far by like over 20 bucks more and there's things that I'm just like it just doesn't seem that clean to me like when I undid the sheets of my bed I found somebody's like a long strand of somebody's hair and these little bits of what look like fur or something from an animal so I don't even know like the bed was made so I don't know if the house either the housekeepers didn't change the sheets they just made the bed because they didn't want to change the sheets or if it's it is clean sheets but um just stuff got stuck on the sheets from being in the wash I don't know it's hard to tell but then there are other things too like look at this chair they have in the room here like it is all torn up and I'm like why is that in here? <laughs> That's nasty. The bathroom doesn't have a fan in there. The only switch to turn anything on is like the lights, but there's nothing for the fan. So when you take a shower, it just gets really muggy in there really fast. And there is mold like on the base of the outside of the tub. And I was like, why is that? But when I was taking my shower, I knew why immediately because the shower curtain that they have, which is all raggedy, by the way, um, was too short. So it kept going outside of the tub. So the water from the shower was just going outside of the tub and settling on the base of the outside of the tub, which is where all the mold is. Um, so yeah, there's that. <laughs> and the inside of the tub, like the floor of the inside of the tub was like a yellowy it just was not white white like not a clean white it looked like dirty yellow so yeah it's just not my favorite hotel we stayed at by any means my least favorite so I would not recommend the best western in north northern Little Rock just not as nice as the other hotels we stayed at and it's the most expensive also when I got out of the shower and got ready for bed I go back into the into the room and my brother's like did you hear that and I was like hear what and he's like the train and I'm like there's a train near here and he's like yeah it like honked really loud like quite a few times and I'm like oh my gosh I hope that does not come through at night several times waking us up because that's gonna stink so yeah long story short do your research when you pick a hotel I really loved our last hotel in Amarillo I think that was the the comfort inn and suites the lobby was so nice the parking lot was really well lit and it just the room was really clean this room overall here at the Best Western, even when I got in here at first, it just feels a muggy in here. <laughs> it's not my favorite. Anyway, it's just for the night, so there's that. Tomorrow, uh, it's gonna be a five and a half hour drive until we get to where my apartment's at in Tennessee. We're gonna unload all of my stuff, then go to my friend's house because she is holding some stuff for me that I had shipped over like my air mattress, my pots and pans, and other stuff. So it'll be nice to see her finally. I have not seen her in two years since I went to visit last time. So it's gonna be great, but yeah. I'm really hoping and praying that my car is safe in that parking lot. Some of the areas around here are a little sketch, so I'm just hoping that everything in my car is safe and overnight so I try to park near the entrance but it's not as well lit as the one we were at last night but I'm praying for the best <sighs> also so funny but in the hustle and bustle of getting everything packed I did not really pack like an overnight bag for my stays at the hotels on our <laughs> way over here 
I only had the shirt that I had on and I brought like pajama pants and some undies and socks, but I did not bring a shirt or a pajama shirt. So I had been wearing the same shirt for this whole time and I even flipped it inside out and I'm just like, oh, I felt so gross. And I was, and we were meaning to go, we were hoping that one of the gift, like the gas stations that we went to go get gas at would have shirts, but they only had like sweaters or hats and things, but not shirts. So I'm like, ah, uh. um, so <laughs> when we got to the hotel, I'm like, bro, do you have a clean shirt that you don't need like an extra clean shirt maybe? And he's like, actually, yes, I do. Okay, y'all, this shirt is like big enough to be a dress on me. It literally almost goes past my knees, but I cannot tell you how thankful I am to have a clean shirt to wear. I'm so happy right now. Doesn't matter that it's way too big. I'll make it work. I'm just so happy to have a clean shirt on and just be like, just clean. <laughs> so thank you, big brother. <laughs> anyway, um, I'm hoping that I'm going to sleep good tonight and see y'all tomorrow. Okay, so I couldn't film when I first got to the apartment because it was such like a mad rush. And my brother, I love him so much. We just dropped him off at a hotel, a hotel near the airport because he has a really early morning flight and he'd prefer just to kind of like be there already close by instead of me driving him early in the morning tomorrow because then we would both have to get up at like before four o'clock in the morning because I live over an hour away from the airport, so I totally understand. So we had a really good dinner at Bar Taco with my friends, and um, it was just great. I had a good time, and of course I totally cried when I said goodbye to my brother because I had never spent that much time together with him before, like three days, just being in the car. He is like the most chill, relaxed. He like, you know those kind of people that are so relaxed, they make you feel like calmer? That's my brother. And so it was just really nice to spend that time with him. And he, I love that I got to see some of my friends and my apartment and like the area where I'm gonna be living. So he unfortunately had to leave right after because he is like an independent contractor mechanic so it's not like he has paid vacation or anything like that so he had to get back right away but i'm looking forward to him coming back to visit for a real vacation where he's going to be able to explore and i can show him around and all these things when i know where everything's at but i don't yet 
but I'm gonna learn. So anyway, thanks for tuning in and I will talk to you later. Bye.